cool song, couple bar chords, one part with a little bit of tricky timing. I know you all can do it. Awesome song, easy to get through once you get the hang of it. I know you all can do it, so let's zoom in for a closer look. Alright, so the beginning of the song basically just pedals back and forth between A and C sharp minor. So an A chord again is 1, 2, and 3, or 2, 1, 3, whatever you want to do. It is A, D, G, B, and E strings being played. Your fingers, these two fingers, however you want to do it, are going to be on the second fret D, G, and B strings. So we got. Now just think of the timing as two groups of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna do down strokes and you're just gonna mute the chord. Now, those of you who don't know what palm muting is, you basically just set your palm, you know, that part of your hand, right here on the strings. Don't press too hard though. You wanna be able to hear it a little bit. But it's just gonna be muted. See if it'll still sustain, right? But it's not gonna ring out like as if you hit it like this. All right, we got it. So, all down strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna go up to C sharp minor. Now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take your first finger and you're gonna bar from the A string, which is the second from the top, all the way down to the bottom high E string. And then those of you that know what an A minor chord looks like, you're basically just gonna put that behind your first finger. So your middle finger would be on the fifth fret of the B string. Your ring and your pinky are going to be on the sixth fret of the D and G string. So you got this. Play all the way to the bottom. Be on those fingertips because you wanna hear all those strings. If you're down too much like this, you'll mute out all of the strings below. So. Nice and on those tips, right? So same thing on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, you don't have to be super concerned in this particular part of the song. All you're gonna do is mute on those top two strings anyways. So get in the habit of being able to play the chord nice and clear, but you're just gonna mute on those top couple strings. Same thing, groups of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to A. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna do that three times that way. On the fourth time, you're gonna to go to your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. And then it's gonna go into the chorus. So you're not gonna to switch to that C sharp minor chord. You're gonna stay on the A chord, do your normal groups of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, chorus. So let's go over with the choruses. So the last A is gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, strum. So that's on the fourth time that you're coming back to that A chord. So again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, chorus. All right, so let's get into the chorus. Okay, so that chorus comes into an E major chord. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your first finger on the G string first fret, your second finger is going to be on the A string, second fret, your ring finger will be on the second fret of the D. Get to hit all of them, you can't mess this one up. As with the next chord, you get to hit all the strings as well. The next chord is a G sharp minor chord. So what we're gonna do there, with our first finger, we're gonna bar from E to E, so the, all the frets, then we're gonna make what looks like an E minor chord with our ring finger and our pinky. We're gonna be on the sixth frets of the A and the D string. And you're gonna hit it down. Now this drum pattern is totally easy. Just like the beginning where you're going all down strokes, this one's just down and up. And I want you to think of it like this, groups of eight. 
each time you do a downstroke, that's one. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, I'm just going down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, et cetera, et cetera, right? So we're gonna go back and forth from the E to the G sharp minor. Twice. Then we're gonna go to A. We're gonna do a count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, back into the verse. Alright, so all together we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, back into the gonna stay on that A chord. Back into the verse. Right, we're gonna do that again. Now we're gonna go back into the chorus, which gets us into the solo, which has a little bit trickier of chords or and a little bit tricky timing, but I know you all can do it out there. So let's get into that. All right, so we're gonna use the same chords. We're only gonna introduce one new chord, which is a B chord. Now you did that C sharp minor chord. You're gonna be kind of the same. You're gonna move down two frets, except now you're just gonna flatten this finger, your ring finger across the D, G, and B. So this part's a little bit tricky, so I'm gonna play it coming out of the chorus. We're gonna do that A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, So what we're gonna do is after we hit that A for the count of four that we normally do, we're gonna do downstrokes. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go to that C sharp minor chord. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go straight down to B for one. So we're gonna. Again. time. Then to A, two, three, four, a B, two, three, four, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, two, three, four, A. So let me play that a couple times through. Tricky timing, I'm just gonna play it, so play along with me. So we got, coming out of the chorus, one, two, three, four. So coming out of that solo, you know, you're gonna hang on the A for that count of eight. So it'll be. Right? And then the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna go back into the chorus, but the chorus is gonna be a little bit different this time. Same thing the first time around, but then we're just gonna go back and forth between E and G minor. So here's what we got. Now we're just going to go E and G 
That, my friends, is another song in the bag. 